Hello guys, I'm just checking out the Flight Factor 757 which I just bought. Now let me tell you right away, uh, once you've got this thing configured, it's really a great aircraft. Um, Alright, so um, in case, just in case you're wondering what this enunciation here means, ATT, um, it is your, or you find your active role mode here, it's, it's a role mode. And what it means is that it will simply, or basically, it's roll hold. It will simply hold your current roll angle. Um, so let's go to heading select and um, turn left. Now if I deselect heading select it will switch back to ATT and now it will simply hold this roll angle and well it will keep turning um, all the time all right so you could use this for example if you wanted to keep turning all the time and not having to rotate the heading not all the time um, so ATT what it basically means is it will hold your current roll angle um, let's go to heading hold and get the wings level because I want to show you something and um, as we are Switching to heading hold, let me just open the AV tab. So that's what you will find in the in the manual. Um, holds a bank angle between 5 and 30 degrees and will not roll the wings level, so ATT. Um, when the bank angle is less than 5 degrees, it will return to heading hold automatically. When the bank angle is greater than 30 degrees, um, it will return to a maximum of 30 degrees of bank. So basically it's a roll hold mode. Um, and I want to show you a trick how you can use this, um, um, another way of using this. Um, let's go to, I'm gonna deselect um, heading hold by clicking the button again and it will switch to ATT. Now I will press and hold the control wheel steering button that I assigned to my joystick. So what the heck is that? Um, it's basically this button. You can assign this mode to a button of your joystick. I'm not sure if this button is actually there in the real aircraft, but I can do the following. As long as I press and hold the control wheel steering button on my joystick, I can now turn the plane and when I release the control wheel steering button that I have assigned to my joystick it will now hold this roll angle because we are in the mode um, roll hold. Let me call it like this. If you have flown a, a general aviation aircraft with the G1000 on board um, it would say roll on as the FMA um, so it's basically a roll hold mode and you can use this um, very, um, very easily by pressing and holding the control with steering button and then it will simply hold the roll angle. I'm curious um, which pitch mode we actually active we don't have any interesting that's very interesting because that means we are actually in pitch and roll hold if I'm not mistaken let's try this out interesting very interesting so um, I'm not sure if that's meant to be this way, but um, if you have ATT active and no pitch mode active, the pitch mode would be down here, you're actually in roll and pitch hold. So it holds the pitch angle that I command and the roll angle. As long as I press the control with steering button and release it, it will now hold this roll angle and this pitch angle. Um, let's see what happens if I go to altitude hold. Now we have a pitch mode active, but I cannot, I 
cannot deselect the pitch mode. So once it's active, um, you have it. All right, now let's try this again with the control with the steering button that I assigned to my joystick and roll to the right and pitch up. I'm supposing that now the plane will go back to altitude hold and pitch down. Yes, it does. But it holds, it still holds the roll angle. All right. So as long as you see ATT, then your current roll mode is, um, how is it called? How is it called? Autopilot attitude hold. That's a bit misleading, I think. Let's just call this roll hold, as long as you see ATT. All right. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.